In this video, I want to go over how we can use matrices to solve systems of linear equations. For this particular example, we're interested in finding the values of x and y that simultaneously solve the system of equations. I've recast the problem uh, in matrix form where uh, you have a matrix A multiplying a vector x and this gives a result uh, given here, which is uh, a vector B. So this is a direct representation of the matrix equation that I presented before. And the way that we find the values of X and Y is fairly straightforward. If you take this matrix equation and you multiply both sides by the inverse of A. By definition, this product has to equal the identity matrix. And when you multiply a vector by the identity matrix, you're just left with the original vector. So as this is telling us is if we wanna know the values of X and Y, we have to find the inverse of our matrix A and multiply it by the vector B. So to find the inverse of matrix A, we use our formula for finding the inverse. Which for a two by two matrix, Uh, that we have written like this. Remember that the transpose of the cofactor matrix was given by this. And the determinant of the matrix was calculated like this. All right, so replacing the values of A, B, C, and D by the corresponding A tree entries in our matrix, we can find that the inverse of this matrix is given by one, the determinant is minus nine, the transpose of the cofactor matrix is given by this. which is equal to this, if you put the minus sign inside of the matrix. And then this means that the solution to our system of equations is given by multiplying out the inverse of our matrix by the vector B as we have over here. And if you carry out the corresponding matrix multiplication, this gives you the following solution. So this says when X is equal to two and Y is equal to three, you have a solution to this system of equations.